if you're at the start line thinking about how you're going to win it and you really haven't thought about it at all, it might be a good idea to step back, enjoy that run and have a look at my top tips to help you smashing out a new PB or maybe even winning the race of your dreams. One of my top tips is think about what time you are looking to achieve, whether it be a 15 minute 5k, 20 minute 5k, even 25 minutes. We all have our own targets, but you wanna be going in prepared, knowing what sort of pace you're looking for, uh, not going off too fast at the beginning because you know you're not gonna be able to hold that pace later on. Make sure that the goal that you've set for yourself is realistic. My 10k PB is 32.42. That's an average of 5, 5, no, 516. Um, so I know that is the pace I wanna be looking at. So when I start, I be either hitting that or 515. And the idea is to work and train and get used to that pace throughout the entire run. It's always a great idea to check out the course beforehand, see if it's hilly or not, if it is hilly, uh, this is a personal thing. I always struggle with the uphills. It's more of a mental thing than a physical one. But at the same time, when I go downhill, I really do fly. So I know that my time will vary. If it's a flat course, you can get a pretty good even pace throughout. And it's just nice to know what's coming along on the course. Um, if you do a trail race, there are a few races that have gates. So it's always worth asking other people what the course is like, have they done it before? And it's interesting to see what other people say. Bonus top tip for me is that a lot of the time I will run the last mile or two as part of my warm up, and then run to the finish so I know what's going to appear in the last later stages of the race. This gives me such a mental boost. And if you're running with someone and you just don't want them to beat you right at the end, this will help knowing what's there to come. It might be a sharp corner you didn't know and oh look, there's the finish. You won't have that problem if you know exactly what is coming. Now we'll talk about food and drink. Everyone is slightly different and I recommend this for most people that within two hours prior to the event, Make sure you don't have any large meals, uh, fizzy coffee drinks, because that sort of drink will raise your heart rate and you'll come crashing down too soon, even before you've even run. I just have uh, water to keep me going and a light breakfast so that I have that energy still in my systems ready to keep me going. So I only have a couple of mouthfuls of water every now and again leading up to the race. And then during the race, depending on the distance, this is a personal thing, but for like 5K, I don't bother having anything. 10K, I might have a very small drink about halfway. Uh, half marathon, there might be two stops to have a drink of water. If you know that you're gonna be nervous or excited before the event, and it's gonna make it very difficult for you to eat, then plan to get up earlier so that you can eat your food over a longer period of time. That way you're still getting the food that you need and the energy for when you get out there and smash the time that you're looking for. So for the night before the race, I try to keep it very simple. A garlic bread, toast, uh, pasta, chicken, definitely pizza, one of my favorites. Anything like that, just to keep me going over the night, ready for tomorrow's race. When it comes to doing my laces, I only ever tie them once. This sounds unusual, but put it plain and simple. I put the shoes on, I make sure that the laces are to a nice, tight, comfort fit, and then I tie them once with a double knot so they don't come undone, and then I slip them on and off like slippers, but they fit comfortably and they're not gonna come off during a race. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you wanna find out more, check out my 12 week course at runityourway.com.